Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to play Tormented Souls, a Resident Evil style puzzle third person horror game. Um, I know I'm a little late to the party, but I just wanted to start playing it. It looked really interesting and really cool to play. Um, so you know what? I figured let's jump into it and figure out what we can do. Who's there? A letter for me? I never receive letters. Nice, it's voice acted, so I don't have to read a whole lot. <clears throat> Except for that. From John Doe. That sounds ominous. Ominous indeed. To Caroline Walker. From Canada to Canada. Oh, nice, it's a Canadian thing. Cool. Let's open this bad boy. Ooh, that's creepy. Damaged photograph of two girls who appear to be twins. Just think you can abandon us here? Ooh, ominous. Alright. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Oh, well, that's a pretty dress. All right, what a what a old timey, rundown mansion looking hospital. <clears throat> this is like one of those private shrink hospitals. Oh, ow. That had to hurt a little bit. Private restroom. Oh no, it got me naked. Is that a feeding tube? That's gross. Ugh. Is that so I wouldn't drown? It's kind of cool if that's the case. in, we go, and we are gonna find out who clonked us over the head. And am I losing... Did I lose an eye? Look. Look at it. Let's hope you didn't lose your eye. You did. Oh, that's gotta be terrifying. And sad. I would hate to wake up after getting clonked on the head, naked in a bathtub, and lost an eye. Like, who's selling eyeballs on the black market? 
Okay, you tied it back on. It's like, you're just gonna run around without anything on? Respirators and oscilloscopes. What did they do to me? Oh god, what have they done to me? Who could have done such a horrible thing to me? And why? Alright. Oh, cool. This is the first puzzle-ish. So it's a padlock. Alright. We'll come back for that once we figure out what the combo is. Anything? Oh, a diary. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. And she looked at me with her eyes wide, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked, and the hands utter utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insisted that it was a sign. She had started using the hour as her lucky number, and used it for everything. Hmm, someone's a little crazy. I thought I wouldn't be able to believe anymore at all this time. I was refused to let hope grow inside my chest, but now that Maria is pregnant again, I'm going to believe again for Maria how those little souls for me. Okay, so he wrote that, and then he wrote that. Okay, weird. How much time passed? Anything else? Alright, that's just the controls. Do not let shadows embrace you. Ominous. Oh, what does that mean? It's weird. Okay, let's go. The doorknob is missing. I can't open it. Oh, okay. I gotta find the doorknob. Oh, man. That's gonna be terrible. I actually wonder... I bet the doorknob's in that locked area. Let's go to the diary. How do I check the diary? Okay, there we go. Files. Alright, so three. Man, I'm gonna be stuck in this puzzle. Oh! I can open one side. Time stood still when my two angels fell from the heaven. Can I open you? There we go. Aw, oh, cute little baby pictures. An old photograph of two young twins. An old pocket watch, there's a latch on the crown. So, let's see, 1235, let's see if that's the number. Yeah, it is. Haha, -ha, I got a lock. Nice. Ooh, a wrench. I want you. Alright, let's see if we can use this. We can! Woohoohoo! What? How? It's adjustable. There we go. Oh. Gosh darn it. Man, that's gonna be annoying. It couldn't have just automatically did that. <laughs> no, you gotta examine everything to make sure it's all found. 
That's the one thing I hate about these kind of puzzle games. Ooh, that's too dark. Don't let the shadow embrace me. Ooh, what is that? I think I need light. Is this gonna be like one of those, uh, Alan Wake style video games where the shadows are the monsters and they kill you? Nice, baby. <laughs> With a lighter. A gas lighter, too. Oh. No. Why can't I use... Okay. There we go. Into the darkness. Ugh. So creepy, man. Waiting room. Alright. I don't want to go there yet. Let's follow this long hall first. Let's see where this goes. Bathroom. And then something else down there. It's locked. Opened electronically. Nice. Alright, well let's go to the waiting room. Let's see if we have anything in there. It's a creepy picture. People in the picture are wearing masks. The whole image is unsettling. It's already starting. I don't want it to start nails. A clip of nails could be used with a nailer. I think I did see on the game box like her holding a nail gun, so I wonder if that's her uh, weapon of choice. Alright. According to the latest archaeological discoveries in Winter Lake Island, the Tismuit tribe, sorry if I mispronounced that, resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suggest they were twins buried together. The plot thickens. That's not creepy, though, at all. Here's the electronical. Yeah, that's not creepy at all, having just a mass grave of twins. And we got a picture of... And we got pictures of twins. And we got a picture of twins that we have to explore and find out where, like, what the whole point of them is about. Examination room. I wonder if I'm gonna get my nailer. Ooh, morphine. Alright, so that's the health. Yeah, that's the health in this game. Awesome to know. Oh, left side of a plastic heart. Puzzle piece. <laughs> oh, there we go. Detailed mannequin of a human torso. Can I not do anything with it? Oh, man. Ooh, that's scary. Don't dare lift the sheep. Why not? It could be important. There could be somebody in there. Odd fu old files, nothing interesting. There we go. Seven inch tape reel. That is how I save the game. It is literally old Resident Evil with the ink. What? <sighs> if they're gonna make me connect the tape. Oh my gosh. I actually have to press the play and the record the button. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. Who says that? My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain, and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine. Naked. And my eye had been removed. Why? 
Why would someone do such a thing? She doesn't seem, like, too worried. Like, I would have been freaking out if somebody removed my eye. I okay. don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? No, I think something's out there to get you. I mean, you lost an eye. Oh, I take it with me? That's awesome. That's fantastic. Alright, let's go places and see things and... Ugh, creepy doll. I don't like you. Of course it gives you the creeps, it's a stupid doll, and it's not even the real head. Oh, what are you... Pharmacy service window, I can't see anything on the other side. Alright, so maybe now... I will go to that other place. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's electrical. Scuba suit. Head. Helmet. Nice. Or downstairs. Map. Yes. I like you. What? I have no idea how to open that yet. We'll figure it out, I guess. Maria Wild Burger's Diary. June 6, 1963. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin. But my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left from my father's whip. Dang, Maria. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William would never look at my father the same way again. I would not. That is kind of a jerk move to do as a dad. Hey, another map. Cool. Let's see. Go up. And then we'll go down. It's locked from the other side. Of course it is. God. Judith Beheading Hollow Furnace, painted by whatever his name is, in 1602. <clears throat> it depicts Judith beheading the Syrian general, Hollow Furnace, in his tent after charming him. Nice. The recreation of this guy's paint work is outstanding, so it's a recreation. It almost looks like the original. That's kind of cool, though. Somebody was that talented to do a recreation. All right. Farther into the bowels of the hospital. Heart attack! This is looking less like a hospital and more and more like a... Uh, like a haunted house area. A hex and socket. It's missing a handle. Nice. Patient report. Dr. William Wildberger. Do doctor. So he's the doctor. Since the patient health is extremely delicate and and the transfer would worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, there were they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand think I'm going to have to move something from their hand. That is fantastic. Love it. Ugh. That got really quiet. Really quiet. Alright, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Yeah, let's go that way. Let's follow you. That is creepy. Creepy statue! Oh man, there's too many doors to go. Let's go down. <sighs> What's behind you? Turn around. That's not 
creepy at all. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Run? How do I run? Can you go through doors? Who are you? What, what the hell? What the hell oh. is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Then why are you here? Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Then why are you here? Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. <sighs> Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. Nice! I got the nailer. Alright. First off, why are you here? Second off, why are you here? I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Who are they? Anything, really. I was hoping to find some leads around here. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you these girls are no longer with us. Are they buried in the catacombs? Is that something that, ha that happens in this world? There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared. Never to be found again. <laughs> I bet I'm one of those twins. That sounds terrifying. Sounds terrible. Mistranslation. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. Where's I'm that at? I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. Why aren't you going to ask him where it's at? You've never been here before? Oh, Alright, so shooting... Cool. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to fight those things. Nice. Looks like he's pretty safe in here. Oh, a crowbar! It's not a horror game without a crowbar in your hands. Oh my god, this camera. Alright, let's go. Maria's Diary. January 1st, 1967. William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital was located would be the best for us. That it would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. I am being selfish. Am I being selfish? No, he seems like a really creepy doctor. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then he looked at me again, his eyes wide open. William came to me and put his hand on my forehead. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His voice faltered when he spoke. We are going to have a baby, he said. 
I felt sick. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until the morning. Huh. I wonder if that has something to do with, like, those ritual stuff. Okay, that's the same. Okay, I'm just adding pages to the diary. I'm not reading a new book. That's kind of cool. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They're gonna move. Eventually, they're gonna move. Yay. I still not... Let me equip it. Let me equip it. Oh, gosh, no. Never mind. I'm good. That was pretty painfully dark. Come on. Boiler room. The morgue. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go to the morgue. I don't like that. I don't like that idea. Nice. I wonder why they give you a... Like, a map to look at and then a map to grab. I mean, it's kind of nice, but still, like... Uh, I wonder. Hmm, I can't do anything with that. Okay. Oh, small valve. Can I not move it there? Put it there. I can't put it anywhere on here. Gosh, dang it. Gosh, dang it. Alright, how do I... I think I need to be 10. Hmm, okay, so I need to figure out some way to bring up that pressure. Which I think I can do. Aha! There we go. Hey! Nice. Got it to ten. There's an issue with the electrical electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Nice! I'm glad I saw that, and I'm glad I was able to read to ten. Only moving two valves. Eh, boop. What? No. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. I have to get it to go down one, and then it starts. Mm. <clears throat> so I have to get it to 11. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, no. All right. There we go. Oh yeah, buddy. No, I stopped it. There we go. Got it on though. All right, let's put this away and let's equip that. Okay, I can't. Okay, I can move in a circle. I can't move. I can dodge, but I can't move while I shoot. Okay, that sucks. That sucks so much. Yeah, let's go. Let's continue going this way. Door unlocked. Nice.
Okay, combat kind of a little lackluster. Oh, you're not dead. Now you're dead. That took 10 nails? You took 10 nails to kill? Oh my god. Ugh, that's terrible, bro. Alright, how many nails do I have, actually? I have seven. So the next guy I fight, we'll not be able to kill him. Okay, I went... No, I don't want to go down yet. Because that was electrical, so I think I opened the electric locks. At least I think. Maybe? I still have no idea what that puzzle is. Alien, Pharaoh, Hornet? No idea. Maybe it has something to do with the, uh... The key shape. So one thing I hate. Oh yeah, maternity ward. Please, I don't want to fight babies. Yeah, there's blood. All right, Lucas Houston, evening shift, electrical maintenance, fourteen forty-five. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Ah, oh, nails! Nails! I get them sweet nails. Sweet. Okay. I can't reload. That's fantastic. I love it so much. Her fist is tightly clenched from the rig from rigor mortis. Oh god. Nothing happened. Am I? What am I supposed to do? Use this? It doesn't fit. Of course it doesn't. Oh yeah, so I think there's something that's supposed to go in there. Her chest was left open in the middle of the procedure. The heart is missing. Okay, I need to find both right and left of the heart. Got it. Water switched off. I gotta switch the water back on, that's fantastic. Alright, so... Alright, nothing in there. Not yet. I need a heart. I don't even know what that was, but that was something I didn't want to hear. Ah! No! God, that was scary. Oh. Alright, I... Oh, I cannot save. I didn't find another one. Dang it, I don't wanna... <sighs> Alright, let's go. <clears throat> no! No! Gosh darn you. Uh, they're really dumb though. Like besides the... Oh! Alright, nails, awesome. Intestines on the floor. Oh, they're throwing like acid at me. I don't like that. Yay! Let's get out of here. Oh man. No! Gosh darn it! You son of a gun. Alright. 
At least I can use it to heal. Alright. Let's go back to the maternity ward. Before whatever's behind me catches up. Alright, let's combine this. And that. I got a heart! Boop. What? How does it not fit? What? Oh, you son of a gun. It's literally a plastic heart. Just when you think. Maybe it needs to go into that mannequin. Alright, let's go back. Let's put it in the mannequin. Got these guys. Alright, let's see. Okay, that was... What? Alright. Okay, so it's going to let me back to the examination. Alright, so this is where I'm going to end this episode. I will get back to where I was, get the plastic heart put back together, and I will continue from there in my next episode. Um, I had fun with this, actually. Um, a little bit of scare, a little bit of bad combat and everything, so... That being said, I hope you guys join me on the next episode of Tormented Souls, and you guys have a great day. Bye!